This meeting is now being recorded. If you do not want to be seen or heard, you're free to uh, turn off your microphone and keep your video closed, but your presence will still be recorded. Thank you.
Start. Destroyer, thus gone, fully and perfectly awakened the Buddha, endowed with knowledge and good conduct, gone to bliss, knower of the world, helmsman of ordinary beings to be tamed, supreme one, teacher of all gods and men, Buddha, foe destroyer, glorious victorious one, Shakyamuni, to you I pay homage, make offerings, and go for refuge. Teacher, foe destroyer, thus gone. Fully and perfectly awakened to Buddha, endowed with knowledge and good conduct, gone to bliss, knower of the world, helmsman of ordinary beings to be tamed, supreme one, teacher of all gods and men, Buddha, foe destroyer, glorious victorious one, Shakyamuni, to you I pay homage, make offerings, and go for refuge. Teacher, foe destroyer, thus gone, fully and perfectly awakened Buddha endowed with knowledge and good conduct, gone to bliss, knower of the world, helmsman of ordinary beings to be tamed, supreme one, teacher of all gods and men, Buddha, foe destroyer, glorious victorious one, Shakyamuni, to you I pay homage, make offerings, and go for refuge. When you, chief of humans, were born, you took seven steps on this great earth, and you said, I am supreme in this world. To you who are wise at that time, I prostrate. 
completely pure body, supremely fine form, ocean of wisdom like a golden mountain, fame that blazes in the three worlds, supreme protector to you I prostrate. Endowed with the supreme marks, a face like the stainless moon, a color like gold, to you I pay homage. The three worlds are not like you who is free from dust, matchless one, endowed with knowledge, to you I prostrate. Protector endowed with great compassion, omniscient teacher, field of ocean-like merits and good qualities, to the thus gone, I prostrate. Through purity, free from attachment, through virtue, releases from the evil gone realms, unique, supreme, ultimate meaning to the Dharma that brings peace, I prostrate. From freedom, teaching the path, well abiding in the pure trainings, holy field endowed with good qualities, to the Sangha also, I prostrate. Homage to the Supreme Buddha, homage to the Dharma refuge, homage to the great Sangha, to all three, ever devout homage. To all worthy of respect, bowing with bodies as many as all realms, atoms, and all aspects, with supreme faith, I pay homage. Do not commit any non-virtuous action. Accumulate virtue and goodness. Subdue your own mind. This is the teaching of the Buddha. Like a star, a mirage, a lamp, illusions, drops of dew, Bubbles, dreams, lightning, and clouds look at all conditioned phenomena as such. Due to this merit, having attained the state of the all-seeing, and thereby subduing the enemy of faults, may I liberate migrators from the ocean of existence, stirred by the waves of aging, sickness, and death. I take refuge in the Guru. I take refuge in the Buddha. I take refuge in the Dharma. I take refuge in the Sangha. I take refuge in the Guru. I take refuge in the Buddha. I take refuge in the Dharma. I take refuge in the Sangha. I take refuge in the Guru. I take refuge in the Buddha. I take refuge in the Dharma. I take refuge in the Sangha. I take refuge until I'm enlightened in the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. By the positive potential I create by listening to the Dharma, may I attain Buddhahood in order to benefit all sentient beings. May all sentient beings have happiness and the causes of happiness. May all sentient beings be free of suffering and the causes of suffering. May all sentient beings be inseparable from the joyful happiness that is free from suffering. May all sentient beings abide in equanimity free from holding some close and others distant. Respectfully, I prostrate with my body, speech, and mind. I present clouds of every type of offering, actual and imagined. I confess all my negative actions accumulated since beginningless time and rejoice in the virtuous actions of all ordinary and noble beings. Please, Buddha, remain as our guide and turn the wheel of Dharma until samsara ends. Through the merit created by myself and others, may the two bodhicittas ripen, and may I attain Buddhahood for the sake of all sentient beings. This offering I make of a precious jeweled mandala, together with other pure offerings and wealth, and the virtues we have collected throughout the three times with our body, speech, and mind. O oh, my masters, my yidams, and the three precious jewels, I offer all to you with unwavering faith. Accepting these out of your boundless compassion, please send forth waves of your blessing. Sidam Guru Ratna Mandala Khan Yuyatiyami. The heart of the perfection of wisdom sutra, Arya Bhagavati Prajna Paramita Hridaya Sutra. I prostrate to the Arya Triple Gem. Thus did I hear at one time, the Bhagavan was dwelling on massive vultures mountain, on Rajagriha, together with a great community of monks and a great community of bodhisattvas. At that time, the Bhagavan was absorbed in the concentration on the categories of phenomena called profound perception. 
Also at that time, the Bodhisattva Mahasattva Arya Valakiteshvara looked upon the very practice of the profound perfection of wisdom and beheld those five aggregates also as empty of inherent nature. Then through the power of Buddha, the Venerable Shariputra said this to the Bodhisattva Mahasattva Arya Valakiteshvara, how should any son of the lineage train who wishes to practice the activity of the profound perfection of wisdom? He said that, and the Bodhisattva Mahasattva Arya Avalokiteshvara said this to the Venerable Shadavati Putra. Shariputra, any son of the lineage or daughter of the lineage, who wishes to practice the activity of the profound perfection of wisdom, should look upon it like this, correctly and repeatedly, beholding those five aggregates also as empty of inherent nature. Form is empty. Emptiness is form. Emptiness is not other than form. Form is also not other than emptiness. In the same way, feeling, discrimination, compositional factors, and consciousness are empty. Shariputra, likewise, all phenomena are emptiness. Without characteristic, unproduced, unceased, stainless, not without stain, not deficient, not fulfilled. Shariputra, therefore, in emptiness there is no form, no feeling, no discrimination, no compositional factors, no consciousness, no eye, no ear, no nose, no tongue, no body, no mind, no visual form, no sound, no odor, no taste, and no object of touch, and no phenomenon. There is no eye element, and so on, and up to and including no mind element and no mental consciousness element. There is no ignorance, no extinction of ignorance, and so on, and up to and including no aging and death, and no extinction of aging and death. Similarly, there is no suffering, origination, cessation, and path. There is no exalted wisdom, no attainment and also no non-attainment. Shariputra, therefore, because there is no attainment, bodhisattvas rely on and dwell in the perfection of wisdom, the mind without obscuration and without fear. Having completely passed beyond error, they reach the end point of nirvana. All the Buddhas who dwell in the three times also manifestly, completely awaken to unsurpassable, perfect, complete enlightenment, and reliance on the perfection of wisdom. Therefore, the mantra of the perfection of wisdom, the mantra of great knowledge, the unsurpassed mantra, the mantra equal to the unequaled, the mantra that thoroughly pacifies all suffering, should be known as the truth, since it is not false. The mantra of the perfection of wisdom is declared, Tayata, gate, gate, paragate, parasangate, bodhisoha. Tayata gate gate parayate parasangate buddhi soha. Shariputra, the Bodhisattva Mahasattva, should train in the profound perfection of wisdom like that. Then the Bhagavan arose from that concentration and commended the Bodhisattva Mahasattva Aryavalakiteshvara, saying, Well said, well said, son of lineage, it is like that. 
It is like that. One should practice the profound perfection of wisdom, just as you have indicated. Even the Tathagatas rejoice. The Bhagavan having thus spoken, the Venerable Sharadvati Putra, the Mahasattva Arya Valakiteshvara, those surrounding in their entirety, along with the world of gods, humans, Ashuras, and Gandharvas, were overjoyed and highly praised that spoken by the Bhagavan. <clears throat> to fulfill the needs of all beings at their various levels of understanding, we request that you turn the wheel of Dharma, including the lesser, greater, common, and extraordinary approaches. Yeah, thank you, Derek. Uh, uh, <clears throat> even though you're in Pennsylvania, your voice comes through very clearly. I appreciate it. Um, I'd like to also welcome uh, Kenshin Rebshe, who's attending uh, via video from the East Bay. Uh, thank you for being here. Um, uh, I'm going to say a few things. And, uh, then uh, my understanding of what I'd like to present about uh, the 12 Nidanas, and then um, if Ramshay uh, would like to uh, comment also, I'd be happy for you to do that, Ramshay, and also uh, if you're willing to take some questions too, um, that would be great. Um, I'm kind of putting Ramshay on the spot because I know he's very busy and I've had a lot of time to study up, but uh, Rinpoche is known as a good scholar, um, so uh, I appreciate his help today. Also, uh, I invite um, Rinpoche to uh, correct me if I say something that's not clear or, or outright wrong. I really appreciate that. You know, so uh, giving a talk in front of one of, uh, one of my teachers is also uh, something that's important to do, you know. Um, so that uh, we're continually uh, in a student mode ourselves, right? So uh, that's why I, I like to listen to people uh, give talks, and I like to uh, uh, be uh, corrected and encouraged also. So thank you for being here today, uh, Ramshe. So uh, you know, I pray for your attendance and long health. So um, if if you're uh, in the States long enough that it's safe and you have time to uh, visit in person, we'd love to have you. So make aspirations for that. Yeah. So we're continuing uh, to talk on the uh, 12 links, the 12 nidanas of um, interdependent origination. And uh, this one, the third link, uh, is usually translated in English uh, consciousness. Um, uh, in uh, Tibetan, you know, Nam Parshepa. So uh, it's important, and we may spend a few times on uh, talking about consciousness. So, uh, and because it's a, we find that word, we find in so many different aspects of the Buddhist teaching, but in uh, it's used in many different ways. And I'm going to try to bring forth more clarity. Uh, than confusion today. <clears throat> uh, before I start, I'd like to uh, dedicate this um, uh, presentation to uh, Dr. Stephen Goodman. Uh, Dr. Goodman, uh, Stephen was uh, a scholar and a practitioner who uh, just passed away a few years ago. Um, uh, taught uh, most recently at California Institute of Integral Studies. Um, I met him briefly um, when uh, he uh, came with, to Naropa and Boulder with uh, uh, his mentor, uh, Dr. Gunther, uh, in the middle 70s. <clears throat> um, Dr. Gunther was uh, an imposing Germanic figure in the classroom. Um, and uh, but when uh, you meet him privately, um, he was very gentle and very uh, uh, humorous and interested in uh, answering all your kind of questions, particularly my annoying ones. And uh, and reading the testimonies uh, 
about Dr. Goodman. Uh, that's the way uh, his students and felt also in the Bay Area. <clears throat> he was one of the first um, Western scholars to talk about uh, the 12 links, and he had a, he still um, has it published on the internet. It's called uh, Article in Crystal Mirror when he was teaching at the Ning Institute. So he calls it situational patterning, situational patterning. So the 12 links are uh, descriptions of situations that we find ourselves in uh, and how uh, that kind of uh, patterns and kind of restrictive patterns arise as part of our experience and then how we uh, are liberated from that experience. <clears throat> so I also um, wanted to um, refer to uh, some of my sources um, as part of our tradition uh, to say, okay, where where is this coming from? Where are the sources? So uh, partially, I'm going to refer to your nice book. Maybe I can show like like there. Uh, um, so this Dalai Lama and Tupin Chodron, um, uh, it's called Samsara, Nirvana, and Buddha Nature, like that. So uh, I'm just going to read um, a short quote um, on a passage about uh, Vijnana. Um, that's usually translated as consciousness. The third link consciousness is primarily to the polluted mental consciousness that is just joined to the next birth under the control of afflictions and karma. Third lane consciousness does not refer to all consciousnesses. It is not a sense consciousness, nor is it the consciousness of a Buddha, pure ground bodhisattva or arhat, because they're no longer reborn under the power of afflictions or karma. Arhats are no longer reborn. Third lane consciousness afflicts transmigrating beings because it leads to the next rebirth. <clears throat> so the consciousness we're talking about here is a consciousness that has already been flavored or perfumed by uh, ignorance and uh, karmic formations that have led to uh, you know, emotional conflicts. So uh, this consciousness um, is not necessarily the same kind of consciousness that we might find uh, when talking about uh, consciousness from the standpoint of Yogacara or Chiyamatra. So I'm going to try to restrict it to the 12 Madonna consciousness and this uh, kind of afflicted consciousness. <clears throat> the important overall point I want to make is that the consciousness that uh, we're dealing with in the 12 Madonnas uh, is uh, perfumed or tainted, maybe perfume is too positive, or tainted by uh, this incredible karmic activity and bewilderment and ignorance. So it is not uh, uh, completely uh, valid at this point. It's not completely pure. We have to do something to transform it or purify it. <clears throat> but uh, before we do that, we need an explanation of what, what, what's the problem and what does, uh, why are we talking about the 12 links and why does it fit into the scheme or this situational pattern as Dr. Goodman would say. The 12 links is an attempt to describe uh, our conventional reality of samsara, what our experience is like. It's a pointing out because each of our experience our lived experience is going to be different. Uh, it's going to be uh, uh, obviously our own in that sense, but um, this is a general overview of how uh, each situation we find ourselves in the uh, each situation we find ourselves in samsara is characterized by uh, these twelve aspects or these twelve patterns of suffering. So when we're analyzing uh, this way, uh, the Buddha is pointing out like how it is for us under uh, a consciousness that is untainted. And this, though, may not completely 
um, jive with our current experience. We may say, I don't appear to be suffering and my consciousness doesn't appear to be uh, tainted in any way. It feels completely pure. So uh, we need to investigate our own mind through meditation, through logic, through debate, through discussions with our teachers, through reading, to see if uh, the Buddha's presentation is something that we can connect with. So this is one of the main reasons we have the Buddha Dharma study program, because I want people to fully uh, have available to them the different ways we can investigate our experience and see if the Buddha's truths uh, are something we can work with and something we can validate for ourselves. Uh, uh, the explanations of samsara um, include how, uh, how things must be. So when we say how things must be, we're using uh, logic and reasoning. So uh, we can't be two places at the same time. Something can't exist and not exist at the same time. We can't uh, go to the store uh, and get uh, just no apples. We're just going to get one apples or three apples, and three apples aren't the same as five apples. So uh, logic and uh, reasoning and conventionally valid experience uh, is also being applied when we're talking about a consciousness that needs to be investigated. So finally, we have to have a meditation method to uh, bring the truths into our mind stream if it looks like they're making sense to us. So one of the discussions I'd like to have uh, maybe during this time is how do we actually work with uh, the 12 links? How do we actually meditate on them? Is it purely an intellectual exercise or is it something we work on? Finally, I hope to um, have enough discussion that uh, we'll continue this for uh, several more times. <clears throat> the other uh, sources that I'd like to bring people's attention to uh, mm, uh, the Bhikshini Tupton Chodron up in uh, Sarvasti Abbey uh, has some interesting things to say about uh, 12 links uh, and reminding people to uh, uh, look at Geshe Tashi Sering's presentation, uh, very scholarly and an experiential one uh, in the Lama Yeshe Wisdom Archives. Uh, <clears throat> and, uh, and the uh, spirit of Rime or non sectarian, I've asked people to uh, also explore uh, Zogjen Palma Premche's presentation to 12 links as well as Changa Rimshe's uh, presentation. Finally, um, <clears throat> uh, for those people that really want to get into it, they can read uh, the Rice Seedling Sutra, uh, one of the major uh, sutras that the Buddha talks about um, interdependence, and also the teaching on the fundamental exposition and detailed analysis of depending arising sutra. So, I'll see if I can say it in Sanskrit. Pratitya Samut Pada Vibhanga Nirdesha. So, um, <clears throat> finally, uh, if you like, you can uh, explore uh, uh, the Burson archives. Alexander Burson uh, has a lot to say also about 12 Madonnas. So, I see this as a central part of Buddha's doctrine. And uh, I encourage people that uh, want to do some scholarship to do it like that. <laughs> Is that too much? Do you have to read it all? No, but I, I would like people to do uh, some scholarship uh, and see what they come up with, okay? Like that. <clears throat> so uh, one of the main, uh, Difficulties when when studying consciousness in the twelve nidanas um, that's addressed uh, uh, particularly uh, strongly is uh, what's called uh, uh, you know throwing consciousness and resultant consciousness or uh, what what happens uh, how how consciousness and karma work together how uh, when we're creating an intention 
that is based on some ignorance or some uh, misperception, how that carries forth into our next moment, into our next situation, and primarily into our next life. So uh, what's really important in uh, Buddhism is how we account for continuity without uh, positing um, a separate Atman. How do we account for continuity, uh, change and growth, as well as disintegration without uh, saying there's a God up in the sky who's uh, uh, holding it all together, or there's uh, an inherently existing self holding it all together. Because in the West, we generally say, well, I'm the owner of my thoughts. I just need a stronger sense of self, we say in psychology sometimes, maybe more flexible self. But uh, the self, whatever that is, is seen as the owner and the controller and the continuity between the experiences. But the task of Buddha Dharma and uh, the Buddha's uh, huge realization is this, uh, this cannot be found in inherently existing self from its own side that's an owner, a controller, or even in the middle of experiences uh, cannot be found. Instead, there's another way that our experience, both from an enlightened point of view and from a um, deluded point of view, goes forward. So if we don't postulate something beneath that experience, if we don't say that there's a God forming it or a self forming it, then how do we do it? One of the uh, schools that we study uh, is uh, Yogacara, that um, Chittimatra that postulates an uh, Aliyah Vijnana, storehouse consciousness, that uh, is the collector of these uh, uh, imprints of the formation, karmic formations. But um, Lama Sankapa uh, criticized this. He said, well, is it really necessary? Can we, can we find this uh, Aliyah consciousness? Or uh, it sounds sometimes like it's inherently existing. So if it is, it should act like this, but on analysis, it can be found. So uh, one of the ways that we have to explore is if uh, the seeds are not uh, stored somewhere, how do they move forward like that? <laughs> so uh, well, uh, for those people that are very interested in that, we'll get into that in more detail. But uh, this is the big question that uh, we can discuss is, uh, how do we understand that consciousness um, uh, is perhaps momentary, but at the same time uh, develops and can take on uh, intentions and can take on ignorance, and how can consciousness be purified? So maybe that's too much, but I just wanted to <laughs> put it all out there uh, so that uh, if there's some piece of that you can hold on to, then that would be helpful like that. So uh, I'm, I'm happy uh, if Rimshay would like to add something and uh, provide any clarification to uh, <laughs> uh, my presentation or uh, uh, whatever he would like to do, that <laughs> would be fine. So. Uh, yeah, please. Uh, am I making any sense, Rinpoche, at, at all? Mm -hmm. Is it making any sense? <laughs> uh, uh, th thank you, Lamala. Lama, thank you, uh, everybody. Uh, nice to meet you again. And for a while, I cannot come to uh, virtual meeting with Lamala and also everybody. I will say apologize <laughs> that I cannot come the early the several I mean several uh, the uh, our discussion I missed that <clears throat> anyway so uh, so the Lamala talked about the electrical links. Twelve, uh, twelve links uh, in in general. Twelve link topic or subject is, uh, how to say, is a very very important for the uh, a Buddhist practitioner. 
even the subject is a little bit, how to say, a little bit uh, complicated or a little bit uh, tough su uh, subject. Even uh, when we study at the monastery, uh, beginning uh, we didn't, uh, uh, how to say, we didn't uh, teach about the, the, the uh, dwelling of Tibetan originations. Uh, maybe after three, four, five, uh, maybe after five years, so uh, we we how to say uh, I didn't study about the dwelling uh, dependent origination. Uh, it makes sense, you know, that the dwelling dependent origination uh, subject when we uh, how to say study or analyze, it's very important to uh, have a knowledge about the mind and its functional. My if we if we don't have the how to say uh, how to say uh, if we didn't understand or. If we don't have a, uh, uh, how to call it, mm. some uh, uh, acknowledge about the mind and its function, it's a little bit difficult to understand the, uh, to, uh, uh, the landing um, subject. And the, why, why it is very important is, you know, that the, uh, so uh, as a Buddhist practitioner, uh, uh, the, the how to say in the we believe every sentient beings have a potential to achieve enlightenment right everybody every sentient beings so so how how it does right how to call i don't know kind of like a map right so we didn't need to know the direction so 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 that's uh if we uh, didn't uh, learn or if we, we didn't uh, recognize that the way the how to say the uh, samsara cycle it's called cycle i don't know yeah yeah how how it works then then it's it's no way to we can abandon right so first we we have to have, have a knowledge how it works so how create the karma where karma goes but come up, so they, those, those uh, the 12 links, uh, they, if you, uh, how to say, pay attention, it 12 links, kind of like a the very detailed, the even, even uh, the, how to say, in, in general of uh, the ordinary, uh, the being like us, Sometimes when we act the uh, the uh, uh, the how to call it, recall that the dwelling dependent origination function, uh, if we really pay attention, then we cannot sleep. So like a twenty four seven is creating karma twenty four seven. So our the ignorance it always arise. So. You guys uh, a little bit. Uh, you guys learn the learn the, the study already study ignorance, right? So the ignorance, ordinary uh, person like us. And I, I'm not talking about the per the 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 being who already uh, the sees the, the how to call it, uh, the emptiness directly. Those people already stop the, the creating the uh, karma. Other than that. All the ordinary beings, twenty four seven, we creating karma. So, <laughs> so sort of is very very important. Uh, uh, the how to say uh, subject. So, the the how to call the, the if any time any moment when the how to say the uh, uh, ignorance arises always create a karma so if there are any the ignorance arises they will have a link toward the that ignorance to other 11. so the like uh, ignorance and the karma and consciousness will uh how, how to say uh the uh, uh become right away Right, when the er, the ignorance arises, it will uh, create the, uh, the, any non-virtue or virtue karma, and then non-virtue or virtue death karma. The, uh, the how to say in, 
uh, leave the, the imprint on uh, our consciousness. So the 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 I I just mentioned it. So when 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 we talk about in it, the how to say in general some some samsara the the way samsara how to say uh, uh, works or the circle or something and also in if we in general I, I have a feel that many of my friends right many of my friends uh, particular uh, the uh, when uh, I uh, met in uh, a Western country, uh, and sometimes, you know, that when we uh, uh, discussion about the lumbrings or uh, even like a four noble tooth or or three uh, jewels or something, and some of my friends they pretended, okay, I know everything. Those uh, those are boring topic. I want the have a, a little bit higher subject, <laughs> uh, like uh, uh, the, even some cases, maybe uh, Tantra or highest yoga Tantra or something like that, right? So in, in this triple link, the dependent originations, it links to three, uh, the four noble truths. It's linked to the uh, three jewels when we take refuge of those uh, they practice. If we have a background or foundation understanding of the, those two links, then our the uh, taking refuge or our understanding uh, the four noble truth is more powerful. So when we the just simple like uh, uh, when we talk about that the uh, four noble truths, uh, the two uh, uh, the causes and two results, right? So it's. It's linked to the how to how to say in English. I don't know the 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 how the uh, how to call it, uh, the way we uh, uh, the way we uh, how to call it, the way we uh, how to call it, the way we uh, cycle into the karma the the uh, samsara on the opposite. How to say if we if we able to stop the ignorance, then we can able to stop the the karma, then consciousness of how to call it, it's opposite, and then to 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 how to say uh, in Tibetan called the luk jung and luk dok. Luk jung means uh, the ignorance, uh, how to say create and karma, karma consciousness or something like this. Uh, 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 how to call it, this uh, direction, and then. So the look though means how we can able to stop aging and that aging and that we can stop if we stop uh, the uh, the uh, how to call it, uh, uh, birth through the the uh, how to call it, how to call contaminant birth or suffering birth or something if we able to stop then we can able to stop the the aging and that or something like that. that's the op opposite. Uh, uh, yeah, so so that's those all uh, linked to the four noble truths. So when we talk about the uh, uh, the truth of suffering and uh, truth of suffer cause of truth of suffering, that 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 two talking about that the like a uh, like a uh, how to say um, uh, we call the luk chung. Luk chung means the the ignorance create. The the uh, the karma and karma creates something like that direction, right? Then, then when we talk about that the uh, truth of uh, path and truth of cessation is talking about uh, the that opposite of that uh, practice or the cycle. Then even the we uh, uh, take refuge, right? Talking about the three jewels, the refuge. Everybody uh, knows. When we uh, the uh, uh, think about the refugee, we always heard from the our lama, so we always read from the books that said, "Real, real, uh, the refuge is the dharma, right?" So that means the dharma means like a to the path or to the cessation. So when we able to gain to the cessation, that time, then we can stop that. 
uh, uh, to the uh, suffering, right? That uh, the reality is when we able to achieve the to the cessation that time, then we able to stop the the uh, creating the karma. So the uh, the uh, the we able to stop the arising the ignorance. So when we able to stop arising the ignorance, that time then we are able to stop the creating karma, the uh, containment karma or something. So so it's very very uh, important topic, and it it some people it might take time to uh, the, how to say, uh, how to call, cognite, cock, cock, cognite, and <laughs> my, my English getting worse than worse, I'm sorry. So, so the, uh, it, as I, I, I mentioned, it's linked to uh, three jewels, it's linked to four noble truth, it's linked, it's the most, most important is, at least we have to have a, some, uh, in the knowledge about the mind and in function. Otherwise, when we talk about the, like uh, delusions, right? To, uh, the to a link, they have a, sometimes uh, they call that a delusion link, karma link, and suffering link. So delusion link means like a ignorance is one of these, and then the craving and grasping. Those three are delusion links. And they have a karmic li uh, uh, links, which is like a uh, second links karma, and then the I think the ten link, ten link uh, I don't know existence. The two we call the, the uh, karmic link. So other seven is we call the suffering link or something like that. So a delusion, right? When we talk about the delusion, the general we call the three poisons, and then we talk about the the. <laughs> The how to call the in the pneumo pneumo what's the lama lama what's the word for pneumo? Uh, pneumo pneumo uh, delusions I don't know. Delusions. Yeah, delusions. Yeah, delusions. yeah they, they they have a root delusions and near something delusion or something like those. So. <clears throat> So the, what I, I just uh, want to say, general, it's a uh, subject is very important, and the uh, we uh, should not uh, how to say should not uh, expect okay one uh, one section or two sections we listen or we read that we can understand everything. That's uh, that's not going to happen. So uh, uh, how to say it? like. Uh, uh, when we talk about uh, the uh, ignorance or consciousness, if we uh, know some background about the delusion, you know, the mind and its mental function, it's right. Mind and mental function, if we know, uh, we, we, do, we do need some uh, a background information or knowledge about the, those uh, functions. And consciousness, when we talk about the consciousness, so the consciousness in general, there were many consciousness, and then uh, the uh, the uh, twelve link consciousness is, uh, of course, talking about the principal consciousness, but it's uh, talking about the mental consciousness, and the that uh, consciousness carried all our the uh, the karmic imprint from the past, the whether virtuous uh, imprint or whether the uh, non virtuous imprint. So all the seed or imprints it, it carry uh, by the that consciousness. So the and and different tenets have a different how to say recognition of the person. So that that's not a, how to say huge uh, factor uh, to understand the, uh, to a link. But in in, gen in general, there were uh, different tenets have a different uh, uh, how to say recognition of the person. So in in to a link and general in the lumbrings or those uh, uh, the the scripture they, when they describe the, the consciousness, they're talking about the, uh, the how the mental consciousness and, and not talking about the uh, me, uh, the mental factor. It's talking about the principal consciousness. So the how to call it, it's called. Uh, is I think mental consciousness, right? In English. Yeah. yeah. So the, the uh, in, in, in general, like uh, we do 
when we uh, uh, how do we we pay attention then uh, the in in uh in on on our consciousness we do have a uncountable uh the uh, the karmic imprint it's uh virtues and non virtues both so the so I I think you you guys already uh, uh, discussed about the karma right previous uh, topic so so the, the karmic imprints and they uh, they they have a, a how to call like a many different uh, karma and the how to call them. the way they, the uh, when when we create the karma they have uh, some effective effective right. Some effect, some karma, yeah, yeah, some yeah. karma, some karma is uh, yeah, yeah, some karma is a sudden, and some karma is not how to say the opposite of the uh, certainty, and uh, some karma we create uh, uh, more uh, how to call more powerful, either I mean the uh, some virtues or some non virtues. And and just just a uh, very easy uh, understand understandable karma like uh, example like uh, in in the scripture it sometimes says when you uh, create uh, uh, like uh, uh, the the non virtuous karma uh, like uh, example like uh, okay even even do uh, the stealing right even <laughs> even even the stealing. If you steal something very little, I mean little, I mean like a very uh, uh, how to call it uh, value is not uh, how to say how to say very um, very little or value is very low or whatever. If you steal from example like your guru or or your temple or or your monastery, even uh, like uh, maybe some penny or maybe some uh, quarter or some dollars, or you uh, steal something for like us one uh, uh, individual. Uh, for for in the United States, example like uh, okay, if 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 it is not uh, how how to call uh, eligible, right? Example like me, okay. Example like me, if I apply and lie based on lie, like uh, these days, uh, like uh, un uh, unemployment benefit, okay? <laughs> Example like that. That is very, very heavy certainty karma. Very bad karma. Because that, you know that, because the, because not not the base because on I when I apply I uh, lie it's because even the that single penny it belong to over 300 million people the owner is not the one uh, individual right so that's totally different even I the uh, lie to some individual like maybe uh, hundred thousand uh, dollars that's karma and that, that single dollar from that the uh, uh, public uh, the found that public found is the more uh, how to call it, heavier karma so they were how to call it, like a many different ways some Karma is lighter. Some karma is heavier. It's dependent on sometimes the timing. Sometimes the how to say the uh, how to call it, objective ob ob object or something like that. So so the the order to understand those uh, how to say functions is very very important to uh, how to say uh, the, uh, the the some background or knowledge about the mind and mental uh, function so so the uh, i uh, the how to say uh, uh, recommended uh, all of the the alumni students try to study or focus uh, uh, 
the on the, the mind and mental uh, functioning. One very important topic. And also they have, the, you know, the tenets, right? You, I think you already study about the tenets. Tenets, they have a, a, the, how to say, not necessarily the tenet books, every, how to say, every written thing uh, we need to uh, uh, understand right away, but they have a, some mental and uh, the mind and mental function, they have a, some, uh, the, uh, how to say, topics, they have a little bit different, uh, how to call a uh, different view from the different tenets. <clears throat> yeah, so example like, a, just one example like a, when we talk about uh, the, uh, the so like a, uh, body actions or speech action or something, the, it's a little bit different understanding from the different tenets, even though the, the it, it doesn't, the doesn't, uh, how does it? It's not uh, because of the higher schools or something like that. It, it like uh, the re recognition for the like a body uh, action. I think body action from the the highest uh, school. The uh, what called person person kika right? Person kika and the the uh, the first school Chetak Mawaj, pretty much same view. But the the other the uh, the Madhyamika school or the Chitama schools is a little bit different. So so there were some uh, how to say the uh, different uh, recognition or different view that uh, apply to the, our daily life or our understanding of those like a phone over two two links. The, the uh, uh, is uh, very effective if you. Uh, understand uh, uh, those differences. Uh, that's uh, <laughs> that's I want to uh, how to say uh, remind uh, all, uh, all of you. Uh, the, so so the, the, I'm not uh, going to how to say uh, uh, the uh, pinpoint that the each. Uh, 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 to a link, and in in the future, if we get the um, the how to say more time, so we can go uh, each uh, how to call each uh, uh, link and uh, discussions and something. And another thing is like uh, like uh, we can copy from the monastery the, the way monastery study the, uh, you guys doing after the the uh, the, uh, the lamala teachings and. Then everybody participate and the uh, debate or discussion is very very helpful. That's very helpful in monastery study program. It's like that. When we go to the teacher, teacher will uh, how to say uh, guide us that each subject, but teacher not gonna t teach us the uh, final result. He will say, ah, there was something logic. This this this. What are you gonna say? Or something. Against this, uh, something this is this, uh, and he quotes some book from the uh, Nagarjuna or Lama Tsongkhapa or uh, Dignanata or some, some, something, said, but he's not going to clarify you everything. And we have to go back to the debate class and discuss and almost like a fight and fight and fight. And then uh, most of the answer we get from this uh, debate class, and even sometimes we don't. Then we come back, oh, we, I tried to put the, this logic, this logic, this is something wrong. I couldn't get it or something like that. Then teacher will clarify you, okay, this means the reason this, that, 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 something like that. Even, even that they have a, some, uh, sometimes, you know, the, the quote from Lama Tsongkhapa or his disciple or in each, uh, the monastery have their, their own commentary, uh, the uh, scripture. So sometimes, uh, you know, it didn't, how to say, go, together. So we got confused or something like that. And then teacher will explain you, oh, Lama Tonga will say this one in this book because the reason is that, that, and another book is reason is a different reason or something like that. Or, so I, 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 how to say, I highly recommend it to, how to say, the, the, have the, uh, our, the Sankar community to uh, continue discussion about that. those uh, topics. Uh, uh, very helpful to uh, gain the, our uh, practice and our knowledge. <laughs> uh, 
So that's that. that so uh, I, what time is now? Yeah, I can I can stop here. And if, yeah, if, if anybody have a question or Lamala can uh, the discuss any anything uh, add add anything you wanna add it you can add. It. <laughs> thank you, Rimache. Mm -hmm. So um, thank you for talking about how uh, debate and discussion uh, is used. Um, so that students uh, really make the teaching their own uh, and just don't depend upon uh, the teacher to be a vending machine, you know? Mm -hmm. So uh, sometimes Western education is just like, I just want to know the answers to pass the test. Mm -hmm. um, in Dharma uh, training that's uh, genuine, then uh, the teacher asks through questions and through prodding to, for people to examine and debate and then to come back, present their understanding, and then maybe more questions. So, so people that have um, that kind of inquiring mind really benefit from that. So, you know, thank you for pointing that out because mm. sometimes my students just say, "Why can't you just give us the answer?" <laughs> 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 also, um, you know, based on your encouragement, uh, uh, you know, I'm willing to have. Uh, uh, to go over mind and its functions, to um, introduce people to the um, authoritative Abhidharma texts. Uh, there's not that much um, good material in English, um, and the uh, uh, Abhidharma Kosha and Samachaya, very difficult texts, but now we have some good commentaries and we still have a very, um, classic presentation that uh, Geshe Rabten put together in Switzerland many years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, that's very, very good. You know, Geshe Rabten's a very good scholar and um, uh, that will go over uh, the dharmas and mind and its functions and the definitions. So um, this is like really getting into um, what I could say in parentheses, uh, uh, the real, uh, you know, psychology it's like uh, learning how, it's like reading the DSM-5 and Western psychology, all the different states of mind and how they work together and what are compounded dharmas, uncompounded dharmas, but it's the map. And I'm willing to uh, work on that now because uh, I've had some students uh, request and uh, with your support, Rimshay, we'll do that, all right? Mm -hmm. but, yeah, very necessary. <clears throat> So um, there's some people in the audience that uh, may have uh, questions or comments, um, and uh, can we can we open that up now and, and see what happens? Well, you have to remember to turn on your microphone when you talk, though. That's important. <laughs> My God. Yeah. I'd like to point out, you know, just while you're thinking about your question is um, that uh, the emphasis here and is uh, that we're talking about today is how uh, karma and consciousness go together. A lot of times uh, we just think our perception, our consciousness of things is unaffected by our motivation, unaffected by our actions, unaffected by um, our intentions. So a prime and important piece of Dharma is that our perception of the world, who we become, and actually how we see things and know things is profoundly influenced by our karmic world. So that uh, in, in our tradition, we don't divorce uh, karma and consciousness uh, and think that, well, we, we just have a, a separate uh, consciousness existing on its own and our actions and intentions and motivations are operating on another track. Uh, at this point in samsara, they're uh, completely fused together. So it's an important meditation to see how uh, our sense of knowing, our sense of discrimination, uh, and our sense of uh, karma go together. So uh, they're not they're not separate at this point, like that. Who does? 
Okay, she's going to ask about Abhidharma. No, no, no Lama, to... Lama, I'm not going to ask about Abhidharma. Oh, oh dear. Thank you, Ripuche, for your talk. My question is about karma consciousness and rebirth, how that all comes together, I guess, at your death. And uh, somehow you either deal consciously with your afflictions or you don't and you take birth. Is it, is it a, a random process or is it a, something that the individual or the consciousness controls? Or is it an understanding consciousness and you can uh, not uh, you can not have so many afflictions or have uh, a different karma in the way that you uh, die consciously? Is that is that what's going on? Is this what we're talking about? The, that peak experience of death and the ability to recognize death and the ability to recognize consciousness and what you what you need to do next i that's sort of a question Rebushe, would you please like yeah yeah yeah, yeah 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 so the uh, as uh, we discuss about the karma we do have a uh, how to say un uncountable uh, karma already we have uh, so the question the i think uh, you are asking about is how determines which karma will right uh, before we uh, uh, rebirth right yes yeah so the so in general sense we uh, we said that you know the uh, karma which karma will right uh, first in general we say uh, which which karma is more powerful, that karma will write. It, 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 it does, uh, did you understand? Uh, yes. Karma, and then if the karma, the, the how to say, like uh, it's pretty much the same uh, level. We do have a karma, many karmas, but example like a, a, a just, just example, like okay, like a lower um, uh, how to say, uh, uh, like a non ritual karma, which uh, uh, how, how to say, uh, rebirth as a lower realm, and also uh, the uh, virtue karma, which will uh, reborn as uh, the uh, higher realm, right? If if the, the the those two example, like those two karma is like a how to call it. In Tibetan world, use pretty much close to the power. I don't know the same in English or not. It's, it's a power or it's a pretty much the level is same or something like that. And then they say, which uh, one you have a more, uh, how to call it, habitual? Hab habit, habits, habitual? Hab habitual? Hab habitual? Habitual consciousness, habitual. Habitual or you, which one you have a more experience is not experience, which like the same uh, karma, but you, if you, how to call? Tendency? Yeah, we call the komba. Komba means, I think habit, right? Habit. You habit. do often, habit. You, you do often, right? Yeah. Habitual means you do often, right? Yes, right, yes, right. yes, it does. Yeah, so which one you have, you have a, a how does the habitual that's come? If the this level is same, and then we, one one which ones you have a more habitual that will uh, ripen first. Oh, <laughs> so the <laughs> so in, uh, yeah, so in general, you're talking about you know the example like a, example like us, right? So the uh, we already have a uh, uh, the example like a one a one uh, link. I mean, so we do have a uncountable karma. So each karma has their own link, right? 
each karma has uh, their own link. So we we, we can uh, I can give you the one example. Example like uh, okay, when ne next lives for in for for instance like a uh, next realms we will rebirth again in a human being. Okay, that's an example. Okay, so we do already have the already part that those uh, first three link. Ignorance arises. And then the uh, karma created and karma, uh, how to say, the imprints already on the, our consciousness. So, uh, example like a rebirth again in some uh, maybe Hawaii, okay? <laughs> example like that. So, so next, uh, is, how to say, next stage is like uh, the craving, grasping, and existing, those three have to happen before the death coming uh, uh, imprints right. Okay. So you, this, yeah, you mean but, understanding, understanding, uh, craving, and and those things have to come before uh, death. They have to be understood. Yeah, it, it's like a, it's like a day, how to say, uh, like example, like a, like a Bali seed is already, uh, already, how to say, already farmed, but we, the, that seed doesn't get the, the like a water or oh. those things yet. Okay, all right. So, 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 so the simple like uh, the, uh, the waters or those elements, conditional uh, the elements, order to write the death's karmic imprint, they have to have the, the craving and the grasping and the, the uh, number 10 uh, existence to write the death karma. Uh, okay. So example like, uh, okay, we we already have uh, like uh, the uh, karmic imprint as a uh, reborn again in a human life. And also, we do have uh, some animals uh, rebirth uh, coming in print, order to write the, our the human beings uh, rebirth. We have to have a uh, some kind of like a, the how do the conditional they uh, how to call so they how to call like a, the, the, to condition to write the death karma like a. Uh, uh, the example like a dying moments or the house before with that. So it had to be a dying consciousness, but not the subtle dying consciousness. It's the how the gross, gross level of dying consciousness period. And then uh, the, the how does the craving grasping has to arise. So order to, uh, how to say, that's karma right we have to have uh, those uh, times non we should, should should not condition to the death, uh, the right right the karma at that time if we uh, so 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 in in in, uh, in the yeah, how to call it, like a, uh, the in uh, it's not custom but in many cases when someone's dying, we try to uh, recall virtues things. Okay, virtues. We, yeah, when we visit that uh, the dying person, we try to uh, remind that that person said good things like a uh, teaching. So Buddha try to devote or try to remember your lamas or something. That's because because the that that the timing is very important. It, the person's dying movement, if their consciousness goes non virtues it's not good. All the others non uh, non virtues karmic, the imprints, uh, the mic ripe. And when we try to uh, the remind them for the arises, uh, the, uh, the virtue things like a faith, devotions, and those things, if that person uh, arises at those virtuous uh, consciousness, it will condition to the uh, uh, how the virtuous uh, the karma uh, the imprints will rise. So, if we're able to 
is not dependent on the other person. If we do quite often or like a habitual to do the, try to uh, arise it all, all the time consciously, uh, which is, uh, how to say, which is consciousness all the time, even, mm -hmm. even the today, from today or every day, if we try to, uh, how to stay like a positive, in general, general uh, the how does the term positive, like a mm -hmm. uh, good uh, motivation, ki kind of like a, always say positive, uh, to, uh, like a cult cultivate your mind or try to. I, I mean, try to rise all the times, uh, uh, virtues. Uh -huh. That habit will help when we die. It's much easy to uh, how to say remain. Uh, how to say, mm, virtuous consciousness. So when you're able to stay that the virtuous consciousness, that means our the virtuous karmic imprint will rise. So that's that that's a very important period that's determined when uh, which rebirth uh, we will uh, rebirth. So like a twelve link, right? Yes. Twelve links. So that so that means six links going to happen. Like a three links already, we already did like a ignorance and the uh, karma and uh, consciousness. Those three links uh, we done may, might be this life or previous life, but the second those three has to happen before we die like curving, grasping, and interesting. So when the, those three conditions is dependent on the links, many different karmas. So if the, I, I just example, you, you give you the example, like a Hawaiian uh, person being as a rebirth, so that's links, uh, uh, the curving, grasping, existing uh, condition, uh, able to uh, write the dead karma. That means it's certainty that person will rebirth as a Hawaiian. <laughs> so the uh, next uh, six links will be at the uh, uh, next life, not the, uh, the uh, this life. Oh. So the, so it's one one another term they use like a project, projecting cause, actualizing cause. Yes, actuary. Yeah. So craving, grasping, and the existing these three called the actualizing cause. So we already have a, those projecting costs. So those three will actualize that it's, oh. Uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So why, why, why they call the actualized cause? Because before we die, that three actualize the, how to, uh, how to call it, uh, uh, result. It makes, does it make sense? I am not sure. <laughs> yes, so it, it, it makes those three links really useful. They, you can use them. You can be aware of them and you can, they're useful. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can, yeah, oh, it's exciting. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah. Uh, Rinpoche, I have the microphone from Lamala. Um, so I have a question about, uh, do Bod Buddhas and Bodhisattvas who have overcome ignorance yet choose to, to go on to transmigration anyways, do they still have this consciousness, but they're unaffected by it? And also, um, at one point, are arhats unaffected by this consciousness? Mm. What uh, you you you're asking for Lamala, I think, right? No, I'm I, I, I'm asking for either of you, Rinpoche. Uh, okay. You are Lama. <laughs> uh, okay, so can you can you repeat the question again? So I can try to make a try to yeah. make a, how to say a, how to call like a like a try to make a kindergarten English. Okay. Uh, <laughs> So 
Buddhas and Bodhisattvas have overcome the third link, but they choose to transmigrate anyways. Mm -hmm. So do they still have the third link consciousness, but they're not affected by it? And then my second question is, at what point are arhats unaffected by the third link? So when do they overcome it? Yeah, so the, uh, when when we're talking about uh, the uh, two links and particular like a consciousness, so so as as how to say as as soon as the person who able to uh, see the uh, uh, the emptiness directly, how to say perception consciousness able to see the the uh, emptiness or uh, the uh, uh, the reality of the things that we uh, face uh, daily so if, when you realize, when that person realized that the nature of the things drag from the perception consciousness then already stopped creating the karma so that meant that person, uh, uh, how to say, will not create, uh, how to say, a karma which uh, linked to the uh, the uh, dependent origination. And so the so I uh, uh, the absolute Buddha doesn't have any of those to a link. And second question, I'm not sure I understand uh, perfectly or not. The Arahat, uh, we call the Dajomba, right? Arahat, like a, uh, they have two di different, uh, like a Nyinchu Dajomba and Rangji Dajomba, solitary, solitary, realizer. Uh, yeah, realizer, and uh, the uh, Harris the realizers, uh, they have two. Uh, arhat, both of them. Uh, we in 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 our monastery we have a debate like that. It's not about the consciousness or creating the new karma or uh, ignorance. Those absolutely they, they don't have. But we're talking about uh, example like uh, some uh, the uh, the arhat they achieve arhat same ordinary person's lifetime. So they, they have a debate, they're talking about, okay, that arahat body is still suffering body. So they're saying like, they, he does have a body which is a result of the, the dwelling of dependent origination's karma. So that's a, a body is still, until that person, uh, how to rebirth, the, his body is still contaminating body. But he, he or she doesn't have any of to, uh, to, to, to how to say the, the like a consciousness, uh, the, uh, the, the creating the new karma or ignorance from the, those uh, the two link of dependent origination. I'm not sure that's uh, clear or not. <laughs> that's, a good answer. that's a good answer. We're we're recording this, right? So yeah. So I know we have to close up soon. Uh, Really, Rimshay, thank you for being here today. Um, um, let's let's talk soon over the phone, okay? Okay, okay. Connect, yeah. Um, I appreciate people's attention today because when we're talking about twelve links, we're getting into you know the uh, you know teachings that talk about the structure of samsara, structure of mind. So uh, in Dharma, we we're talking about how uh, karma works, the mind works, how we work without reference to a personal narrative. Usually we're talking about, I have this problem, I have that problem, and uh, it's necessary to talk that way. But when we're talking this way, it's like learning anatomy. It's like a medical side, you know? Like when a surgeon's working on your heart, they're not thinking about your personal world. When we're talking about uh, COVID, COVID doesn't care about our personal world. So it takes sometimes a little boring or a lot of details 
but uh, it's delving into actually what's happening uh, when we when we take away our personal narrative, our personal history, because these functions are going to happen uh, without a personal history going on. So just like in psychology, where we have to learn uh, many things about how the mind works, it's the same way in Dharma. Uh, so I look forward to some people who want to talk about Abhidharma and go into mind and its functions as a result of our talk. And uh, I hope Ramesha can uh, meet with us again. Thank you for your time today, everybody. And thank you, Ramesha. So we should do closing prayers. And uh, I can see Dirk in Pennsylvania. So whenever he's ready, that's good. So we do closing prayers, yeah. But we his mic has to be on, yeah. So we don't <laughs> can you, Dirk, can you hear me? Okay, good. <clears throat> I can. I was just having a little trouble turning on my mic. Oh, thanks. Yeah. At, and presenting at the same time. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Yeah. We know it's like, yeah. Due to the merits of these virtuous actions, may I quickly attain the state of a guru Buddha? and lead all living beings without exception into that enlightened state. May the supreme jewel of bodhicitta that has not arisen arise and grow, and may that which has arisen not diminish, but increase more and more. In the land encircled by snow mountains, you are the source of all happiness and good. All-powerful Chenrezi, Tenten Jatso, please remain until samsara ends. May the teachings of the Buddha flourish, and may the upholders of the teachings remain forever. May all migrators achieve happiness, and may they fulfill all their temporary and ultimate goals. Losan, magical display of the deep awareness of all the victorious ones, merciful giver of a stream of profound and vast instructions to the fortunate migrators, please remain always unperishing, unchanging, unfading. Valukiteshvara, great treasure of objectless compassion. Manjushri, master of flawless wisdom. Vajrapani, destroyer of the entire host of Maras. Tsongkhapa, crown jewel of the snowy land sages. Losangdrakpa, I make request at your holy feet. I'd also like to remind people that there's lunar observance practice tonight. Yeah, thank you for doing that and leading that. Uh, thank you, everybody, for being here today. Um, hope to see some of you on uh, retreat next month and uh, some of you uh, also in person. All right. Thank you so much. Ciao. <laughs> Bye. Thank you, Rinpoche. Thank you, Lama. Yeah. Thank you, Ellen. <laughs> That's good. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you, Rinpoche. Thank you, Karen. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Rampache. Thank you, Lamo. Thanks, James. This is good. Yeah. I like saying Thank goodbye you, to people, Rampache. <laughs> it's kind of fun. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Lama. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Alrighty, I'll say goodbye now. Thanks. Talk to you soon. <laughs>